Hey YouTube. So this is awkward and I don't know how to start this off. Bear with me. I wanted to find a way to express my feelings because life is rough now just like it's rough for everyone it's really rough for me I'm gonna start by saying that this kind of be like my own personal diary I'm not one to write in a diary so Instead, I figure for me the way I get to express my feelings is to talk about it verbally. I just, the way I can express my feelings is to communicate it to others. I feel like my family is a bit tired of um hearing uh me complain so it's either do this or go see a therapist which a therapist I have been to because I, a couple years ago, or a few years ago, should I say, I was diagnosed with clinical depression and I went to go see a therapist. And talking to her helped, but in the end, it was pretty much like she was just like, you know, express your feelings, get you a diary and write your feelings out on paper you know in the diary and i'm just like that's not me that's not what i'd like to do i like to talk and express my feelings and it's hard so when you have a supportive family members just like anyone they only want to listen so much like and sometimes you would rather or should I say I would rather um I would rather talk and have somebody pretty much just listen and that's hard to find someone that will just listen and not impose or I want to say impose or not express the way they feel about a certain situation sorry I have to adjust this and not um, feel like they are obligated to um, tell you what they think you know instead of just listening just being a ear when you need somebody to talk to so it's been um, hard for the past few months I recently got married so okay I want to just give a backstory as to what I am going through and why I am starting this little um, chapter in my life of um, expressing my feelings openly expect it openly expressing my thoughts and um, 
feelings on camera is because I feel like there's a lot or what I've read is that there are a lot of people that go through the same things I am going through in life that can maybe benefit or uh, you know feel like they have somebody who is going through the same thing or who understands what they're going through and when I say that understand what they're going through my situation is that I got married about four months ago my husband my now husband um, shortly after us getting married my husband has About a month after um, getting married, my husband has um, was accused of something so horrible, heinous, um, just despicable. I mean, he doesn't want me to talk about this. But I feel like this is the only way that I can deal with it um, myself. Like everybody deals with situations differently and I feel like this is the only way I can um, deal with it. Like it's only so much I can talk to him about it and I can talk to my family about it but it's like it doesn't help. <laughs> It doesn't help because they want to talk about it too you know it's like they want to talk about it or I feel like talk with me or talk at me so I feel like this is the only way that I can talk and not have anybody talk with me or talk at me so he doesn't want me to share it but I feel like it should be shared because it's like it's a stigma against it okay so let me just go ahead and just say what it is um my husband has been accused of child molestation or I'm molesting his 10 year old daughter and so So you can understand why he doesn't want me to share that and I get it I get why he doesn't want to but I feel like it's a lot of people out here that go through the same situations and it, it's like it's it's kept quiet um, nobody talks about it Or they sweep it up under the rug, or it's just, it's like hush hush, you know? And I feel like, talk about it. Like, talk about this thing, because if it's not true, you talk about it. You shout it to the world that it's not true. Like, it shouldn't be so secretive and hush-hush. And I, from what I gather, because I don't know anything really about that. I've never had that happen to me. Um, and so, maybe I'm a little bit naive about it. But to me, it's like... everybody's afraid of it and I guess I understand why everybody's just like you know I don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about it because it's horrible but if 
you know, if he knows that it's not true and I know that it's not true and our family knows it's not true, um, it's like you, you, it's not true. So it shouldn't be like so hush hush and kept quiet because forget what everybody else you know thinks or everybody else in the world thinks um or if they think it's true or it happened you know it's whatever I know it's not true and so um I'm not gonna keep quiet about it cause I'm we're on a crusade of uh, justice for him to clear his name and to show people that this happens more often than people think and uh, what i read it's pretty much called uh, parental alienation it's where one parent gets so angry so bitter and they are they go for blood for um, another parent and it's predominantly the mom the mom is usually the accuser of the father and she 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 goes out to make his life a living hell and so that's what we're going through like I don't understand it it's like I feel that how can you be so angry so hateful towards a person that you married because he was married before and they have two children this is the same person you married this is the same person you had two children with I mean and you're so angry and you're so hateful towards that person and it's like okay we're we all we've all been in three bad relationships I've been in a bad relationship I have a son myself, an eight year son myself, and that relationship wasn't great, it was bad. It ended badly and it was bad. And for a few years, it we weren't great. We, we weren't civil. We said nasty things to each other. And we did nasty things to each other but not to the point where it affected our child you know like we did it to each other we like we it it never affected our child you know we're civil now and we are on good terms and we have been ma we have been maintaining this uh civil relationship for um you know months now i think that changed because um i ended up in a relationship with uh amazing man I end up I'm marrying an amazing man and my ex 
sees I'm happy, he realizes that I've moved on, our lives will not never be the same, and he's able to move on as well. From what I gather, I haven't talked to him about it, but his actions say that, that he is coming to terms with our you know separation in that he can move on and so it's sad to me when you see another you know former couple that can't do the same or one person within that relationship cannot do the same they can't move on they can't get past Oh, horrible breakup. And they would rather they would rather jeopardize the their children's happiness and mental stability and relationship with a parent just because of their unhappiness I can't understand it because I'm not you know I, I'm not that person once I move on from a relationship or once I am out of a relationship I'm out of that relationship I move on we have no more ties even if we have a child just like my son's father I move on I have nothing to do with their current girlfriend or partner or whatever I just move on and I feel like why can't other people do the same thing why can't you move on why do you have to be so mad that somebody else is so happy I hope somebody who is going through the same situation sees this video and realize that they're not alone. It's been three months of, or four months, three months, three months of court cases or court appearances three months of investigation three months of interrogation three months of people probably thinking we're some nasty despicable people three months of not seeing my stepchildren no it's been longer than three months it's been like since December of not seeing seven months of not seeing my stepchildren three months of a lies and it's like how do you how do you how do I maintain being a wife and a mother without looking like you know, I'm trying to take up for him, which I am because I know he hasn't done anything, but I'm trying to, you know, make excuses or hide and stuff. It's like...
happens like after all this is said and done? What happens to us? Like God willing. Um see the truth and we can move past it, past all of this. But then even if we move past all of it, he will still have that stigma on him. Like, how do you, how, how do I be a wife? And I'm trying to be very supportive. But it's like, I can't even, I haven't even had time to enjoy my marriage. Like, right after I get married, boom. You know, a month after I get married, you know, it's like, how do you starting? We're just starting out together and this is what we're going through already. So what do you do? Like we're newlyweds and we can't even enjoy our life together or our you know first year of our marriage can't even enjoy it can't do the things we're supposed to be doing you know hanging out traveling what what is that Being married, being happy. What is that? Like, what is being happy? And it's like, I feel like nobody understands or nobody cares. It's like, oh, she's just his wife. She's a woman that came in and. I don't know. I feel like we don't, I don't, I, I feel like wives in this situation never get heard. It's like we're just supposed to be supportive. And that's it. It's like, you know, you sit there and you shut up. Because he's like, you're nobody. You know? It's him and his ex-wife and the kids. And it's just like, you have no say so on anything. Like, what you think doesn't matter. What you have seen for years you know being in a relationship with this person and being around this person kid the things that you've seen doesn't matter you know you've seen how loving he is how protective he is how supportive nurturing but nobody really, i mean they ask but do you think they care no when you're getting interrogated and they ask you, you know, how's your husband with the cats? You think they care? No, they don't care. They're just trying to get shit to build up against him, you know? They don't care. And it's like nobody ever asks, like, how are you doing? Through this whole situation. Your husband being accused of something so despicable and nasty. How are you doing? Are you fine? Do you need anything? No, hell no. Nobody cares. It's like nobody cares. The authorities is trying to build a case. You 
your family got their own problem you know he is in his own little world you know your husband because i'm he is going through it's him you know it's him that's being accused so he's going through his own crap you know mentally he's going through his own stuff and you don't want to bur burden him with it and sometimes i do and sometimes i'm very vocal about it and he's a yeah he about his life his life he he doesn't talk about it he's a military man or a veteran so yeah he, i guess over the years he learned to not talk about or not want to because during during um He doesn't like to talk about it. And he has yes, I I'm cause I get frustrated with him because I'm like you show no. You show no emotion about anything, and he's like, I am. I just I internalize it. Is that good? No. I, that no i know for a fact that's not good it's not good for me and that's why i'm doing this because it's not good to not talk about things he's like hey, but you're so vocal yes because it's been years of me not expressing my feelings and i get and i'm i'm adult i'm a woman and i like to talk so I do, I talk about my feelings all the time and I feel like, he, like he's like, I don't want to talk about this. So who do you talk to? You know, you go see a therapist, they're getting paid for it. It's their job. And I don't want somebody to tell me the same things I already know. You know, write it down. Talk to your family. meditate I already know all that stuff so like I don't need somebody to tell me about the things that I already know I already know how to do that stuff hmm. I don't know anyways I think I've had enough talking for today and I'm draining now I don't know, I didn't want this intro to be long. I kind of just wanted to introduce another part of our um, channel. I don't want this. This this is this is gonna be a weekly um a weekly series I guess where I come on and I talk about what's going on that week because I'm pretty much using this the camera as my diary so I'm sure it'll get I'm sure I'll have you know emotional days yesterday last night was pretty it was a pretty bad day it was a pretty bad day and this that's another reason why I thought to myself like I, I need to do this I need to release this is because yesterday was a pretty bad day today is better today is much better yes yesterday was pretty bad and so I needed to talk and release a little bit of frustration that I'm having and you know I'm sure over the weeks during this journey I'll come on here and I'll be sometimes happy and then sometimes I'll be really depressed and sad and I don't want it to be a 
before I know my sister was concerned that um, you starting this, uh, you know, this little video series is would it would um you know affect our channel and I would always be you know it would always be something negative I would always have something negative to say not anything positive but I don't want it to be like that I want it to be positive and you know I wanted to be positive in the fact that it's a, a, a wife, a stepmother who is on a journey of finding herself, um, expressing her feelings. And helping her family, building her family. So I didn't want to make this video long, <laughs> even though it probably will, but I just wanted to talk about some of my thoughts I've been thinking about for a few days so today was a pretty good day today was a good day and we'll see I'm gonna try I don't know if I'm gonna strictly stick to Sundays because I just never know when I'm gonna have one of those days where I'm just like I need to talk and we're talking to my sister doesn't work and I love her and talking to my husband doesn't work and I love him we're talking to my mom doesn't work and I love her where I just need to talk to nobody pretty much myself so like I said it might be Sundays it might be during the week because I just never know but you saying maybe Sundays or something. Sundays is one of the uh, one of a good day for me. It's a day where I go to church and I'm able to get some words of encouragement, words of wisdom spirituality which helps it help it helps a lot and talking helps so um uh, lord willing i'll see you guys next week of course I'll return back to my DIYs, but I'll be back next Sunday, if not sooner, to talk about it some more. And if you just so happen to be in the same situation, like, leave comments in the comment section and, you know. It'd be nice to just talk to other people who understands or who is, if they just so happen to be going through the same thing, you know, know what you're going through. Okay, so like I said, I guess I'll see you guys next Sunday, if not sooner. Bye, YouTube.